Okay, so we're gonna be organizing all this in here. Let's see how we're gonna do it. Out the way. Girl, move out the way. Girl! So we just got to Trailhead, Laurel Lake, and it's 10 30 right now. Uh, we're gonna just find a, somewhere to camp uh, for tonight and continue to the lake tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. It's a beautiful morning. We're at Easter Sierras. We're on the trail on the way to Laurel Lake. We came here last night. I'm gonna show you guys some of the footage on the first couple of miles that we drove up on the trail right after this and then we're gonna continue to the trail after we pack up. Nozel is still sleeping in a tent, put coffee on and we're gonna head up there and try to catch some fish. the route coming up at night and some b-rolls on the with the drone where we're at our location there was another campsite about maybe half a mile down but it was too closed up we didn't like it so we came to this one i've been coming to eastern sierras for probably 20 years i've never heard of laurel lake until maybe last year but i couldn't come because the road was closed now this is the first time I get a chance to come and check it out. So I'm very excited and I'm excited to share it with you guys because I want you guys to learn about this uh, trail and uh, the lake that's up there that we're gonna go ahead and see together. And you guys maybe can come. All right guys, we'll see you guys later. Let me start packing. The whole lake for us. I don't see anybody here. breakfast I'm using this custom jig all right so 
we're at Lure Lake. It's a beautiful sunny day. The lake is amazing. Nobody's here. So it's time for me to do some fishing. Now, regulations. You can only keep two if they're 14 inches or bigger. All right? And artificial lures only with no scent. So I don't think they stock this lake. Probably whatever we get, it'll be wild. I'm assuming maybe brook trout or cutthroat or even brown. I personally like rainbow. It tastes better than any of them. All right, one more, last one. We'll go towards that side. All right, ladies and gentlemen, round two. Oh, there's somebody there. Interesting. Round two. We got our cheek. Barbless, break the barb because when there is a regulation, if you have to let go of you know anything smaller than 14 inches, you don't want to hurt the fish. So barbless. If there is fish here, I'm gonna definitely catch it. My lord. <laughs> kiss it. Ah! Baby, kiss it. No. No. It's like a bunch of bacteria is under the water. No, it's not. If I don't catch anything, I'm jumping in the pool. <laughs> in the pool. Jumping in the lake. Fishing was bad, unsuccessful, so we still have a lot of daytime. We packed up, we're gonna go explore somewhere else. You got a winch? Let me pull my bench. And the stuck again.
another rescue. Seems like it's a routine wherever we go. Side by side out and we're going slow because his 4x4 is not engaging for some reason. So just gonna go slowly, make sure they get out, get out of the trail. And we're slowly driving out of this. I didn't get hooked on anything, but they said they got hooked onto a four or five pounder, probably a rainbow. They said it was like bright red. Um, probably it's a native rainbow, but he got away five feet from the shore. So that was the only thing. Uh, but yeah, it's a beautiful place. I would make it either a day trip or like leave in the afternoon, get here before sunset, camp by the lake, you know, do some fishing in the morning and head back because there's not much to do. And me and Anya and Nozali get bored very quickly. We like to go and see new places all right i'll see you guys down the trail if anything happens exciting i'll start recording try to uh, catch fish but it's dead so we're cutting this trip short Nazel is not feeling good it was just a one night thing wanted to see how the Laurel Lake was I loved it it's pretty it's a very nice place now we're packed up and heading home thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys next time